Okay, so good morning, um, Professor Mahatra, uh, Mahatra, the Dean External Affairs, Professor G.K. Sarma, Dean Faculty Recruitment, um, the coordinator uh, J, uh, J so and uh, the, all the distinguished guests and uh, invited uh, a speaker from both research and uh, academia and industries. This uh, particular way, uh, the workshop has been uh, the uh, conceptualized by our Honorable Director Professor Jain in July, last uh, uh, the July this year, and uh, since we got um, the our uh, new uh, colleague, uh, Jachandar Swaminathan, who has uh, the PhD on the desalination, and that some of the, some of us are already working. Then the CSD, um, the Center for Sustainable Development, which has the mandate to go through this, uh, the finding the sustainable solutions for at regional, local, and uh, uh, national and global levels. So then we thought uh, we have we have been thinking about that. Uh, the what is the next uh, the the next forum where uh, the as a country uh, as a country we can uh, do so then we thought that the first step is to know what is going on and in that uh, the uh, in that quest uh, the uh, this workshop has been uh, organized and uh, uh, professor jachandra will um, tell you more about it just uh, i would uh, like to uh, this uh, like we have been talking in this morning that the, this center um, has uh, the various other programs also and uh, in coming uh, next year we are going to have a technological fair also in uh, uh, March and uh, there are uh, visiting faculty a scholar programs some post uh, postdoctoral and researcher uh, programs will be also pitched in so uh, uh, I once again would like to thank uh, thank and for the taking uh, the pain to come over here in a very short notice and uh, uh, then I would like to invite Professor Jayachandra for the briefing about the workshop. Um, thank you Dr. Manish. Um, so once again welcome all of you. I'm your host. I've interacted with all the speakers over the last month and a half. Thanks. Nice to see you all in person. Um, so I'll take this time to briefly give an overview of what we hope to achieve from this workshop. And also I did some uh, number crunching to give like a very broad big picture uh, perspective on desalination. So I'll just introduce that so that we don't have to repeat that in each of the presentations. Okay. So the interest for IIT Gandhinagar uh, in desalination usually is articulated in this way. In the fact that Gujarat has about one third of India's coastline and also with increasing water problems, we could uh, invest a lot more of our time and effort into desalination technologies. So uh, by so essentially what I'll uh, f like formulate how we've uh, uh, organize the panels also based on these numbers. So what I uh, found is that out of the 2,600 million liters per day of desalination capacity installed in the country today, about 50% uh, seems to be is in Gujarat. And uh, of the remaining, so 50% is in Gujarat and 25% is in Tamil Nadu, and the remaining is spread out in other parts of the country. So there is significant interest in this uh, region towards uh, desalination processes. Uh, the other way in which we can split desalination processes is in terms of the application. So what need is it serving? Um, so if we look at it in that way, uh, for municipal supply of drinking water to uh, end users, um, out of this 2,600, only about 350 million liters per day is being desalinated. And of that, more than 200 MLD is actually in Tamil Nadu. So even though 50% of the total is in Gujarat, a lot of the focus here is on industrial water recycling and reuse. Um, so the way we've structured the program today is first to focus on large scale desalination plants. Um, so if we, if again, if I look at the installed capacity, uh, about 99% is made up by reverse osmosis and thermal technologies like multi-effect distillation, uh, with reverse osmosis contributing 85% and multi-effect about 14%. So these will be the focus areas of the first session uh, where we have three uh, distinguished speakers. So we have uh, Professor P.K. Tiwari, uh, who is from Baba Atomic Research Center. Uh, he'll talk about nuclear powered desalination process and hybrid uh, systems. Um, we also have um, Mr. Sriram Kulkarni from Technochem Group uh, in Mumbai, who has a collaborative uh, venture with uh, IDE uh, 
Israeli desalination engineers, and they have set up some of these big, large-scale plants, both uh, reverse osmosis and uh, thermal-based, all over the country. And we also have uh, Dr. Permal Selvaraj from Tamil Nadu Water Investment Corporation. Um, so I, my in introduction to them is through my work with textile dyeing units in Tamil Nadu. So they supply a lot of the water recycling infrastructure for these textile dyeing units. So this will constitute the first uh, session where we'll talk about these large scale plants. Uh, following that, about so the re of the remaining um, a major portion comes from electrodialysis or electrochemical processes. So in this regard, we have uh, Dr. V.K. Shahi from uh, CSMCRI, uh, Bhavnagar, um, who has extensive experience developing membranes for electrodialysis applications, and also uh, Professor Su uh, Subbu from IIT Bombay, who will talk about capacitive deionization in the second session. Uh, the, so as I mentioned, even though we immediately think of water production for drinking when we think about desalination. Uh, in terms of installed capacity, that is not really the uh, right uh, uh, parameter at this point. But of course, providing drinking water is a major uh, like motivation towards desalination. And in this regard, we have the third session where the focus is more on uh, using renewable energy in an off-grid remote location to supply drinking water to people who really need it the most. So in this uh, context, we have a talk on solar distillation process by Pro uh, Professor G. N. Tiwari from IIT Delhi. And uh, we also have uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Venk uh, G. Venkatesan from uh, NIOT Chennai, who has extensive experience working on ocean thermal en energy driven desalination process. So that's a brief overview of all the speakers that we have lined up for you today, and also the thought process behind structuring the event. Uh, now that I've said that, I would invite Dr. Uh, Mehrotra to please invite the speakers and also say a few words. Thank you, Jay. Namaskar, and very good morning to all of you. Uh, let me add my words of uh, welcome to all of you on behalf of IIT Gandhi Nagar, on behalf of Professor Sudhir K. Jain, our director. And on my personal behalf, I extend a very warm welcome to all of you, particularly the seven very eminent uh, speakers uh, who are going to be the resource person for this workshop. We are indeed grateful to you for accepting the invitation and be with us this morning. And I'm sure that after today's deliberation, we would have some very tangible and very uh, workable uh, recommendations, which will help us in taking the one of the mandates of the center forward. The Center for Sustainable Development uh, is uh, one of the newest and you can say seven uh, centers of IIT Gandhinagar. All our centers are, one can say, are virtual in nature. That in the sense that we don't have a separate building assigned to centers or a group of people uh, assigned for the activities. Uh, we definitely try to uh, identify the people who have been working in the areas or uh, have interest to work in the areas which are relevant to the center's defined mandate. And then uh, the entire institute infrastructure is available for the, for the uh, center's activity. Uh, now one thing that we have decided from the very beginning uh, when the centers were uh, created as early as 2012. In fact, as I said that uh, uh, the development uh, center, cent sustainable development center is the newest. It was created uh, just a year, year and a half ago. The mandate for all these centers is that we should be doing something which would have a direct impact on the society. Uh, yes. If we get some uh, research which results in publications, uh, that's a bonus and most welcome thing. But the idea is not just to do research at the laboratory scale, come up with a proof of concept, publish some papers, and then move on to the next uh, problem. This is what we do most of the time as academician 
in uh, other research activities. The centers, as mandated by our Board of Governors, is uh, expected to do something very tangible and uh, something which will make an impact, as I said before, too. Uh, for this center, four main uh, areas of activities have been identified. One is related to energy, uh, other is the climate change, then we have uh, water uh, uh, resources, development, uh, you can say treatment affluence, etc. So, uh, in the area of uh, desalination, there are many activities which can be done for various objectives. One could be to focus on uh, a conversion of saline water to potable water. One can also apply many of the concepts or uh, methods for, for uh, treatment of affluent stream, make them usable in the industry and uh, for safe disposal if uh, it cannot be directly used, so and so forth. So one thing that we would want to uh, try to decide early enough and that is one of the purposes of uh, today's workshop as I have understood it after discussion through Jay and uh, Manish would be to have a better idea as to what is the kind of uh, focus area that we should be concentrating on. Of course, this will depend to a large extent on the kind of uh, expertise that is right now available within the institute. We cannot take up a problem where we don't have our own expertise. We have to have people who have interest, have some experience, may not have much to take uh, that area forward. So we are very eagerly looking forward to the deliberations of today's workshop and uh, as Jay described, I can see that we are going to have uh, discussions on very broad spectrum of uh, areas which, which one would say would fall within the, within the uh, framework of desalination. So we are very eagerly looking forward to uh, the deliberations of this and I I'm sure that uh, the people who are sitting here, they would find these deliberations very meaningful, very fruitful and uh, this would set the direction for uh, our future activities, particularly in areas related to water processing, water treatment. With these words, I once again welcome you all and uh, hope for a very fruitful uh, workshop today. Thank you.